Welcome to the 2012 Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship Series. This week, we continue our coverage of the Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash, one of the most unique events in the Collegiate School of the Year program. With 156 colleges and over 200 teams, it's the most comprehensive rankings of the collegiate fishing programs in the U.S. Welcome to day two of the 2012 Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash. The Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship Series is back, and we're on Lake Levon, just outside of Allen, Texas, for continuing coverage of the Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash. This two-day tournament offers anglers a unique format with four weigh-ins each day and tons of great prizes awarded to the winners of each session. Students from different schools can compete from the same boat, and schools can even put three anglers in the same boat. And like all the events of the Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship Series, the Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash is provided to students without tournament entry fees or membership charges, courtesy of the Association of Collegiate Anglers. It's a pretty cool deal, um, just kind of individual event, but still fishing with the friends, so I'm pretty pumped. There's a whole bunch of prizes to win, so I'm excited. I like it. It's, uh, you only have to worry about getting one instead of five, so it makes it a lot easier when you're fishing. Go Big Red! Hundreds of students from some of the best college fishing programs in the country arrived at Lake Levon, Allen, Texas to compete in the Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash. It's the first event of the 2012 Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship Series, a key element of the School of the Year program, which both ranks and rewards collegiate fishing teams throughout the country. The Cabela's Big Bass Bash is an exciting event and is drawing a lot of positive attention and support from some of the top names in the industry. Many believe that events such as this could reshape the future of collegiate bass fishing. The incredible sponsor support allows for a deep prize pool with gift cards, gear, and more in this exciting competition. Before we head out onto Lake Levon, let's see where we stand on day one at the Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash. The high water has created a challenge for these collegiate anglers, and some are having trouble adapting. But for those that figure out that final piece of the puzzle, well, let's just say that the rewards are sweet. Dustin Jones from Texas Christian University stayed on top of the leaderboard of weigh-in session one and won the heaviest bass of the day with a fish weighing in at 6.02 pounds. First place for session two was Bobby Onspuck from University of Wisconsin at Stevens Point with a fish pushing just over five pounds. Leading session three was Henderson State University's Shane Stoddard with 4.58 pounds. And David Tyrock from Texas A&M University took session four with 4.11 pounds. Now, let's start day two coverage with University of Arkansas's Kenneth Anderson. Representing, you know, the school for this, it's a big deal because all those up in Arkansas, we get a lot of, you know, locals. Everyone follows us up there. And, uh, you know, it's a big opportunity to definitely represent, you know, our school, our sponsors, and just get our name out there, you know, and I enjoy them a lot, especially these Boat U.S. tournaments, because it's like first class, you know, they give us food, a bunch of prizes, you know, it's run really smoothly, like there's no, no frustration like some other tournaments I fish where you don't really know what's going on. You know, I look forward to these. Continuing day two coverage of the Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash, we'll check in with Jacob Slade and Jackson Blackett from University of Louisiana at Monroe. There's a lot of people that didn't know we even had a fishing team. And uh, since we've been, you know, up in the running for the school of the year so far, uh, we started getting a lot of recognition and uh, probably one of the most successful organizations on yeah. campus. It brought a couple people back to college. The only reason they came back, they said, just they found out the ULM had a fishing team. I mean, not to mention that's some killer bragging rights. And a lot of people don't realize how big it is in collegiate fishing, but so, I mean, every time you go out, you're not just competing against one college, you're going up against, you know, 30, 40 different colleges. Oh, that was it. Let's go home. Now, let's join the University of North Texas's William Cartwright and Chance Johnson. <sighs> 
get another bite? Yeah, take off swimming sideways. What I like best about the college fishing is that you're basically starting out at the same level of a lot of these guys. So you definitely get to see a lot of um, anglers develop, you know, through your college career and, and the camaraderie. The camaraderie is always great about uh, the college fishing. Like we got guys from TCU staying with us and uh, one junior college, North Texas. Just getting to know those guys and have something in common between schools and get to meet other competitors. It's a lot of fun. The Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship Series will be right back. For more collegiate bass fishing coverage and videos, go to collegiatebasschampionship.com. The Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship Series is brought to you by Boat US, for the love of boating, Cabela's, world's foremost outfitter, Garmin, Ranger Boats, still building legends, one at a time. Before you head out here, get ready at Cabela's. Your source for the hottest new gear at tough to beat prices. Save big on everything you need when you shop by catalog, stores, and online at cabelas.com. Our legendary selection is field tested and field proven. You can trust our gear. Cabela's, world's foremost outfitter. Making the most of your time. It's why Ranger developed the revolutionary Z Comanche series. With muscle car inspired engineering and a long list of best in class features, these designs take all out performance to the extreme. Surround yourself with the pace setting freedom of the Ranger Z Comanche series. It's a hammer down reminder of the power that comes from turning things loose. Discover Yamaha's VMAX power. When you want the best, choose Yamaha. The Yamaha VMAX SHO. First, it changed the game. Now, it set the standard. But don't take our word for it. The whole shot was everything they said it was going to be. Yeah. We accelerated from like 50 miles an hour to 70, and it was like that. So fast, so quiet. I mean, you give it power, and it's just there. That thing right there is just bad. The whole shot on it, the second to none. Oh, yeah, it's for real. Take a demo ride and feel the power yourself. You'll know why we call it the game changer. Garmin says their new Echo Fish Finders are simply the best fish finders for the money. I'll echo that. Right. Garmin also says you'll be impressed with the Echo Fish Finders' excellent power, screen clarity, and free transom and trolling motor mounting kit. I'll echo that. A nice, uh, bass. I'll echo that. Oh. Oh. Why is it looking at me? Since 1996, Frog Togs Outerwear have kept outdoorsmen warm and dry, even in the worst of conditions. Now, Frog Togs have expanded beyond hunting and fishing markets and revolutionized the industry with their patented fabric system. Frog Togs are extremely lightweight and portable. They pack easily in your car, boat, RV, and even on your motorcycle. Best of all, Frog Togs are 100% waterproof and windproof, and yet extremely breathable. Check us out online at frogtogs.com. Frog Togs, stop the rain. Welcome back to the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship Series and coverage of the Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash from Lake Levon. The kickoff at the Cabela's store in Allen, Texas was a big success. We're here at the Cabela's store in Allen, Texas, and this is a fantastic kickoff to the event. Every angler's getting a $25 Cabela's gift card. They're out taking Chevy test drives that gets them another $10 gift card. They're being fed. They're meeting our sponsors from Berkeley, Hydrowave, and many others that are here, and they're getting to learn a little bit more about this event. And it's a great place to kick off the 2012 Cabela's Big Bass Bash. After registration, collegiate anglers from across the country had a chance to see old friends, meet new ones, and even pick up a few prizes. Anglers also learned more about the unique rules and format of the Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash. We're real proud to be here. It's going to be an uh, extremely fun event. Uh, we're trying to, to get these kids and the upcoming generations back into fishing. You know, we're here at the Collegiate Bass um, at Cabela's, and so we are going through registration. We're handing out samples of our new Havoc baits um, with the four new shapes and just having a lot of fun. 
University of Oklahoma is fishing in close quarters with three anglers on board, Alex Edgman, Landon Dixon, and Joey Connell, who took third place in the final session of day one. Yesterday, we noticed by the tree line, the water had started to come down. I don't know if they opened the gates or, or what, so we thought it might cause them to pull out some. So we started on the outside, and yesterday, that's where a lot of our fish came from. I don't even think he'll make the cut, but he's a fish. I've been fishing for quite a while, ever since I was real little. I fished, came to OU, it just made sense to join the fishing team. It looked real promising. First half hour. How much time we got left? None. What a busy morning for all the teams at the Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash. Let's head back to Avalon Park on the shores of Lake Levon for the first weigh-in, brought to you by Cabela's. Leading the pack with a 5.31 pound bass is Kyle Curry from University of Arkansas. Second place belongs to Manny Kaminsky from Harvard University with 3.77 pounds. And coming in third is Charlie Brown from University of Texas at Tyler with 3.63 pounds. Here's a look at the top five in session one. Now, back on the water with University of Texas at Austin. Man, it's nerve wracking up there whether you want to weigh <laughs> in your fish or not. It, we saw a bunch of people with four pounders take it away and I feel like they would have been easily in the money. So. But you know, it's definitely nice to know that it only takes one fish to do it. For as poorly as we did yesterday, you know, yeah. it's good we're not doing a five fish limit tournament. We found fish around three o'clock yesterday. It was just a little bit too late. We probably had like 15 bites within the last 20 minutes. Up in this creek right here where we at, there's a big swell right over there. Well, we got started about five years ago and uh, this year we got a record number of people more than we've ever had before. Usually, I mean, they said in the past it's just been six guys or so. Let's check in with Harvard University's Manny Kaminsky and Jacob Boy, founders of the newly formed Harvard Fishing Club. And this is their first event. Let's see how they're doing. Well, that's the smallest one so far. Smile for the camera. It's a fish though, right? <laughs> it feels pretty awesome. Obviously, Harvard has the stereotype of academia. People are always surprised when we say we're part of the Harvard Fishing Club. Uh, and to be able to now have proof that we can compete. I was looking at the rankings on collegiatebasschampionship.com last night, and you know, Arkansas Tech or whatever is number one. And so the fact that we can say we're in second place right now feels pretty good. Uh, obviously, we'd prefer to be number one. Back on the shore at Avalon Park, teams are gathering for weigh-in session two, brought to you by Cabela's. The winner of session two is Reagan Moore from Arkansas Tech University with 4.48 pounds. Coming in second is Adam Jackson from the University of Arkansas with 3.95 pounds. And third goes to Kirk Mann from Abilene Christian University with 3.83 pounds. Here's the rest of the top five in session two. The Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship Series will be right back. For more college bass fishing coverage and videos, go to collegiatebasschampionship.com. The world has never seen a hook like this. What I thought was good before is not so good now. The first surgically sharpened fish hook. This is the best ever. In test after test, we have proven that anyone can set this new hook with half the effort of any other hook. That's money. Introducing the Trocar Hook, a weapon for fishermen who aren't just out to catch fish, but are out to win. I tell you what, a good knife, that is just something that is so valuable to a person in the outdoors that you can't even, you can't put a value on it. It's just something to know that you've got a sharp knife to be able to get the job at hand done. And not every knife is gonna be able to be sharp, be able to get the job done, and be able to handle the tasks that are ahead of it. But I can promise you, the bubble blade, it's gonna get the job done for you. You know, a lot of times you see 
different things that are out there and you wonder if they're any good. But when you get a good fillet knife in your hand and you've got a pile of fish over it clean and it begins to go through every different cut quickly and easily and effortlessly, you know you're holding something that you're gonna like and you're gonna be able to use and enjoy. Whether you're cleaning redfish or speckled trout or tuna or whatever it may be, the Bubba Blade has proven itself in the field to be a product that I like, will use, and will have on my boat when it comes time to go fishing for a long time to come. So check out our website to order your Bubba Blade today. Welcome back to the Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship Series and coverage of the Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash Day 2. Now, let's check in with Keller Goodrum and Nelson Goldsmith of Abilene Christian University. It's been a little bit frustrating. We didn't find any fish until about 10.30 in the morning. We've been out here in these two coves bouncing back and forth and been getting a lot of bites. I haven't been putting too many fish in, but... Sooner or later, we're going to get one in the boat, and hopefully it'll be a decent one. One bite could be a half-pounder. It could be an eight-pounder and beat that girl, which would be nice. So you never know what's on the end of the line. Yeah. Okay. There we go. There we go. We got a pounder in the boat. You know how to make a bass look bigger? That's how you do that. We now join Sean Mulholland, Aaron Lewis, and Everett Ritterboss from University of Nebraska at Lincoln. It's fun. It's done very well. I mean, this is my actually my first tournament ever. I'm really impressed with how they run it. You know, paying for the the boat launch fees. I don't know if that's a regular thing, but that, I thought that was pretty sweet. And and the breakfast and and everything. It's a blast. I like meeting all the other people from all the other schools, getting to, fit, to fish against some of the best and best college fishermen in the country, and I guess fisher woman in this case too. I heard, I heard that uh, the girl from Arkansas, she just is um, slaying them today. Hope the guys aren't upset by be getting beat by a girl, because fish really don't care about your gender. The early word on Lake Levon was that the competition's only female competitor, Reagan Moore, was on fire on day two. Let's rejoin Reagan and her partner, Evan Barnes, to see what's going on with Arkansas Tech on this final day. Yesterday we had two little ones, didn't even place in any hour. Within the last hour, I've caught one that's about 4.49, and when it's about seven and a half. We've been putting on a show. We've had boats in here with us all morning, all over the place. It's just been a fight to see who can catch the fish. I finally got Evan to slow down today. Got his foot off the, <laughs> got his foot off the trolling motor. Slowed down, finally caught some big ones. Hey, I'm about to catch an eight pounder. You wait and see. Oh, come on. I'm about to catch an eight. It's nine. I mean, it's. I dare y'all. Where it's a 12. What if I do, Ray? Then I'm gonna give you a big hug. I'm gonna be so oh. proud. We're about to head up to the ramp right now and go weigh this big fish that I just caught. Hopefully, we'll win an hour, maybe even win the whole thing. Now, we'll head back to Avalon Park for Session 3's weigh in at the Cabela's Big Bass Bash, brought to you by Cabela's. And she did it again. Arkansas Tech University's Reagan Moore is the new overall leader with a nice bass weighing in at 7.84 pounds, beating Dustin Jones's 6.02 pounds big bass from day one. Second place in session three goes to Texas A&M University's David Tyrock, who brought in a fish weighing 4.04 pounds. Rounding up the top three is Andrew Dulock from University of Texas at Arlington. And here's the rest of the top five for session three. Oh gosh, big one. The Boat big U.S. One. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship Series will be right back with more coverage of the Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash. Second to you again, bud. 
Tell you what, next tournament, I won't use my hydroway. I don't believe you, so you know what, bud? I'm taking it with me. Go ahead. Thanks, bud. You know what, Kevin? You know, he actually may be pulling for me. He's nuts if he thinks I'm giving up my hydrowave. What a squirrel. <laughs>
chicken. <laughs> How about that, boys? <laughs> I guess all I can do now is sit here and suntan. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, I seriously can't catch another fish. I've waited to fish this hour, and there's only one more hour left, and I can't take another fish away from him. So, I'm just gonna sit here and be net woman. With time running out, we'll head back in for the final weigh-in of the 2012 Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash. Session 4's top honors go to Nelson Goldsmith from Abilene Christian University with a 6.76 pound bass. Second place belongs to Regan Moore with that big bass we just watched her put in the boat during the final hour, a 6.38 pound lunker. And third is Kenneth Anderson from University of Arkansas with 5.62 pounds. Here's the rest of the top five. Despite the tough conditions, Team Arkansas Tech University struck gold twice. Keying in on the wave of fish moving shallow, Reagan Moore fished slow and her patience paid off. I was screaming and hollering, I was so excited. I knew it was a big fish, but I didn't know just how big. And when we got to the scales, it was my new personal best. All these guys here are very supportive. Anytime that I win or place in anything, they've got my back. So I really appreciate that more than they know. I mean, it means the world to me that they support me being a girl and coming out here and kicking their tails. I mean, that's <laughs> all you can say about it is being proud. They're proud for me, so. Looking at the rest of the top five overall, second place went to Nelson Goldsmith of Abilene Christian University with 6.76 pounds. Regan Moore had quite the day as well, taking third place with a 6.38 pound bass in session four. Fourth place was also over six pounds and went to Texas Christian University angler Dustin Jones, who set the first benchmark for the anglers in the very first session on day one. The fifth spot and the last to receive overall honors was taken by Kenneth Anderson of the University of Arkansas. Congratulations to the top five of the 2012 Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash. The 2012 Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash was a great success. Anglers caught and released a total of 119 bass. Since this is an individual competition, the Association of Collegiate Anglers, or ACA, will be assigning School of the Year points based on the total number of fish brought to the scales. Arkansas Tech University, which was previously tied with Eastern Kentucky University for the lead, has now placed some distance between themselves and their nearest competitors heading into the next event. Congratulations to all the teams who competed in this distinctive tournament. Next week, we'll show you behind the scenes coverage of some of college bass fishing's most unique incentive programs, the Ranger Cup University program and the Berkeley Conservation Institute program. Don't miss it. Hey, what do y'all got going on? Y'all gonna catch some big fish tomorrow? Wait a they bite right now? My camera guy just went. I went that way. What are you doing? <laughs> I mean, I got the whole thing going on over here and you're gone.